Hey, Sense of Sacks of Comedy and fans. We heard you had some questions about TCU. And we thought that we... At the TCU Library... Could help you. Answer those questions. Because that's how librarians roll. According to Scientific Monthly, in an article written by the late Professor Herring in 1939, the reason why there are four Roman numeral ones instead of just a Roman numeral four is because it's more visually appealing. Swiping out would make it so much more painful in an emergency, don't you think? This steel and stoneware sculpture called Birdhouse was done by Charles Wells, a former art professor at TCU. Birds! Birds! Nope. This stoneware sculpture is called Ambiguous Road. It was done by Sydney Williams in 2012. She's a current TCU student. Isn't she talented? Not a bunny. <laughs> It was eliminated due to cost and liability. Then the bikes were sold to students on campus for $18 each. This earthenware sculpture was done by Jennifer White and is called Chair. She graduated in 2011. It's scar, like you have a scar, and brr, like it's cold. Scarber. Because the top one is the shuttle schedule and nobody wants you to mess with that. The bottom one is information and you can mess with that Really? Is this the Beastly Fountain? Okay, I get this. You're... No, that's not right. Maybe you need to review your information about plants. Uh, daffodils are annual, and once they're planted, they bloom every spring. Alright, okay. And you're... No, that's not it either. Close your eyes. No, really. Close them for a second. You're not closing them, close them. Okay, now think of a dream, your biggest dream, and picture it just floating out of your mind. Weatherly Hall is a large community room located in the basement of the Bright Building. It was named after John F. Weatherly, whose family gave the funds for the hall. You mean Elizabeth? She was created by Chris Powell. He's an art professor here. She's behind Melody because she's made of staff. She's being protected from the weather. And dude, it's a buggy. She who has inner peace cannot be lost. Is that it? Is that it? Yep. Yeah. Okay, now how do we get the hell out of here? We need to practice more, seriously. Security. Dude. You're in Bass Plaza, in front of the Harrison Building, or the Bright Building. Uh, no. Last time we checked, he survived the impeachment attempt and came back to life. It's a bidet. This guy represents the world of business management activities. And it's 8 o'clock because all of us who have real jobs, that's when we start working. As for that random teacher, we don't know who he was either. Our voice recognition system wasn't working. But don't you just love the TCU community? Hey buddy, I know how to remove the ground advertisements, but I'm not going to tell you. Oh. Because the grass has 
haven't grown high enough to cut yet. No, 233. You'll have to talk to the TCU physical plant about that. Perhaps it's part of their sustainability plan. This sculpture was created in 1993, and you'll have to check with the Tuckers to see how much it costs. Seriously, dude. Why? What do you mean there's no handle? It's on the other side. It turns the lights on and off. Creepy? You think these stairs are creepy? Can we get out of here now? Chocolate egg. This building was constructed at two different time periods and named for two different donors. Dan Rogers Hall was constructed in 1957 and Tandy Hall in 1989. Both donors contributed toward the building. Confucius says when building is new, no messed up fight. This is the flag of Chile. Nothing says pre-med like a creepy guy in a lab coat. Cool! Cadbury egg! There's been no sightings of this owl. Maybe he only comes out at night. The construction is starting and when we finish, we're going to have more seats in the library. We're sorry we missed it. Invite us next year. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. We hope you learned something. Come see us at the library.